People are asking what's happening now all over the country, it seems, in colleges and other small groups. People are staying and praying and sharing and praising that there's a new life, that God has come to them in a powerful way in Jesus Christ. And we saw it, it began there in Wilmore, Kentucky, at Asbury. It's gone to colleges all across the country. And they're calling this revival. Revival, ladies and gentlemen, is when those of us who have been in Christ, we may have wandered away, we may have gotten complacent, we may have lost the vitality of that relationship with Christ. Revival is when we come back home to God, when we confess sin, we get right with God. Worship becomes important. Stewardship giving becomes important. And all of this begins to work in your heart and my heart if you know Jesus Christ and if you know Jesus Christ. That is revival. Something that was complacent or maybe even almost dead is brought back to life. That is not a great awakening. Great awakening happens in those of us who are experiencing revival. We begin to share our faith with Christ to those who do not believe in God or do not believe in Christ. That's when the sweeping results of revival begins to change a nation, a college, an individual, the world, even America. Revival, renew the freshness wind of the Holy Spirit. Great awakening when those who've been revived begin to tell anybody and everybody, this is how you too can have life now and life forever. It evolves into witnessing. Study revival in history. This is what happened. The church is revived, it comes alive, and then the church spreads anywhere and everywhere and penetrates education, government, community, and all the other entities in a culture. We're having the first gleams of revival. I pray it'll spill over and we'll have a great awakening and turning to God and turn to Christ in America and around the world. That's the answer to everything that ails you, that ails America, that ails the world. Revival, Christians, great awakening, Christians spreading God's truth with passion to anybody and everybody everywhere. That's what I pray. From this gleams of revival, we'll have a great harvest of people coming into his church, coming back to God, and then the flames of change will revolutionize everything in our culture.